seven women, six days, one mountain. What does that mean? Good morning and thank you for joining us for a special edition of Fox 26 Morning News Extra. I'm Melissa Wilson. It means seven courageous women from Houston, along with their trainers, doctors and mentors, will be setting out in a few weeks to climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. It's a hiking mountain, but don't let that fool you. This is no easy feat. Kilimanjaro is the tallest freestanding mountain in the world and the tallest in Africa at 19,340 feet. It supports five major eco zones, rainforest, heather, moorland, alpine desert and glaciers. Today, about 15,000 people attempt to climb Kilimanjaro every year. Each of the seven women we will feature today has a special story to share, a serious reason an important cause they're climbing for. Throughout the next hour, we'll introduce you to them and the people supporting them to help them reach one of the highest goals in their lives. Their main cause is to raise awareness and funds for ovarian cancer, as one of the climbers has survived the disease twice and was recently diagnosed again. The others spread hope through a diagnosis like HIV, obesity, drug addiction, and a host of other life's experiences. We start with the woman who is training all of these brave ladies. All right, let's head across, guys. Shanna Ross is a fearless leader of the seven hardworking women. Her idea to pull them together came through the form of Becky Pope. She came to me with a bald head, her foot in a boot cast because she was having some problems with her foot um, and said, I want you to help me climb from, to, you know, climb Mount Kilimanjaro. And I was astounded that just coming out of chemo, she was ready to go and do this. When you go down, you want to use the poles quickly. Shanna says six other women immediately came to mind when she heard that Becky wanted to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. The common bond they all had is that they addressed their health and well-being to take back their lives. And that's where the idea came. How's everybody doing? And I invited all six of them. We discussed how difficult it, was, it would be and that they also had to be very revealing about their issues, their health problems. They all decided to do it. And now they're working harder than ever to bring their dream alive. Shanna owns Shanna Ross Fitness in the Heights and concentrates on helping baby boomers and menopausal women. This is a perfect fit since the average age of these climbers is 52. I work mostly with people recovering from illness, injury, disease. So I've worked a lot with cancer survivors. It's such a beautiful shot of downtown. Shanna is having to work through her own medical issues after a lot of sports injuries. She has herniated discs in her back and needs a knee replacement. I'm in chronic pain uh, pretty much all the time. But I also know that if I sit down and let it take over, then that's not going to work. I go walking after midnight. Shanna says she and the girls won't let simple things like age, medical issues, or life in general slow them down. You would be amazed at some of the workouts these, these old gals are going through. You know, we don't think of ourselves as old at all. By chronological age, we're considered middle age. But the work they're putting in, the gusto with which they go after these workouts. Ready? It's truly inspiring. It really shows that it's never, ever, ever too late. Shanna Ross sitting next to me is documenting the climb every step of the way and even writing a book about their journey. She and her climb team co-leader Mary Beth Reuter join me today to talk about the upcoming climb. Welcome ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It is so amazing to see what you have been doing in the most unbelievable temperatures in Houston. I mean we were out there and it's 110 heat index and you're going 11 miles up and down the bayous. How in the world do you find the strength to be able to do that? You are preparing for cold weather, but extreme temperatures are probably helping you out a whole lot. Well, we know that if we can climb in Houston, Texas in 110, we're going to get up Kilimanjaro without any problem at all. Um, you know, we're actually kind of looking forward to minus 20 because we, we feel like we're doing a little medical research as well. You know, can you really have a hot flash at minus 20 degrees? And <laughs> <laughs> we're all betting that we can, but we think we'll be a lot cooler there than we are here. Well, I think it's so neat that you're doing this. Now, not only were you outside doing this, you guys have also been working in the studio a lot. What are some of the things that you've been 
been doing to prepare bodies for such a big climb? Well, when we started in the studio, we did a lot of full body workouts, um, a lot of uh, TRX work, balls, bands, kettlebells, um, so that we were working more than just one muscle group mm -hmm. at the same time to really get our cardiovascular up. And I understand that one of the biggest challenges for climbers when you're going up that mountain is you can actually easily pull the muscles in your neck because your backpack is constantly pulling you down. So that's why you're using those poles. You're really getting the strength in those arms and that neck. That's right. right. The poles help quite a bit. Uh, they really help you with your balance. But really, they help more than anything on the way down. They help to take some of the, the weight off of the knees. I think what you're doing is so terrific to raise awareness about ovarian cancer. And you are touching people not only here in the Houston area, but in the entire world. Tell me a little bit about the people who have contacted you and, and want you to, to make them a part of this climb. The outreach has amazed me. It really has. We've had a gentleman from Houston contact us about his daughter who died at the age of 42. Her dream was to climb Kilimanjaro. He sent us her photograph and uh, we're also going to be taking some of her ashes to the summit. Mm -hmm. um, this gentleman here, his name is Pavel. Mm -hmm. He is from um, Australia, but mm -hmm. that's where he lived. He died from uh, ocular melanoma. His wife sent his photo. So we are truly touching people all over the world with this project, and we are absolutely thrilled that we're having that kind of outreach. And you're going to be able to take these photos so that these, these people's lives will be there with you, raising awareness about their struggles in life. Correct. And we all have struggles, and that's really what this is about. It's, it's what you do with them. Mm -hmm. We're all going to have them. That's the guarantee. It's what do you do with them? How do you face them? Do you stand at the base of that mountain and just look up and wish you could get to the top, or do you just go? And that's what we're going to help people understand is that you can go. You feel like anybody can go through what you have put these ladies through because it's been some pretty serious workouts and get them ready for this? Oh, definitely. These women are amazing. I mean, some of the things they've been through physically and emotionally, mm -hmm. and to be able to go through some of the workouts we've put them through, and they come out even stronger. It's, it's very impressive, and I, yes, I believe anybody can do it. Have you seen a change in their attitudes throughout this process of all of this working out, of, of them feeling better and even more comfortable in their skin? They seem pretty comfy before, but even better now. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, I remember our first hill workout. Mm -hmm. It was hot. It was already hot. It was difficult. And now, at the end of two and a half hours, when we get back to Spots Park from doing the trek, it's, it's gotten pretty easy, mm -hmm. so we're ready to go. We are ready. Shanna and Mary Beth, we can tell you are. And I'm going to be checking in with you in just a little while, so we're going to have you stick around. We mentioned the inspirational climb, but it's a woman. Her name is Becky Pope. Her ovarian cancer has returned, but she is not letting that stop her from making the climb. Her story is next. I think it is, because it's about the extremes, and that's what the mountain is about as well. Uh, it, it's the extremes. And I suffer from hot flashes, and so I'm looking forward to the cold. This new segment brought to you by the Lymphedema and Wound Care Institute. One of the benefits of living with three guys is that there's always beer in the fridge and uh, milk from 2010 in a burrito and a cup. And, uh... oh God. Who's missing a tooth? Premier September 20th on Fox 26. Who lost their tooth in the fridge? Trust. When others don't have a diagnosis, we have a solution. If you suffer from chronic swelling, you may have lymphedema. Call us today for your evaluation. 281-338-2590. We can help manage your swelling. The Lymphedema Institute. It's been a good year for the Chevy Silverado, and not because of the awards or the accolades. No, it was good because you told us so. The Chevy Model Year Wrap-Up. Get in on our greatest model year yet. Combine the Texas Edition discount with other offers for a total value of $6,500. Or qualified buyers can get 0% APR financing for 60 months on all 2011 Silverado models. Our greatest model year yet is wrapping up. He really loves it, huh? Yes. Yes, he does. How long has he had that thing? 15 years. Still keep it in the driveway? Nope. 
Keep all the stuff you love at public storage. Clean, well-lit, and accessible 365 days a year. And it's just a buck for your first month. Plus, take advantage of our end-of-summer sale and get 10% off your monthly rent. Public storage. State Farm, this is Jessica. Hey, Jessica! Jerry Newman with a palsy question. Jerry, how are you doing? Fine, I've just got a little fender bender. Oh, Jerry, I'm so sorry. I would love to help, but remember you dropped us last month. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It only took 15 minutes to sign up with that new auto insurance company, but it's taken a lot longer to hear back. Is your car up a pole again? <laughs> I miss you, Jessica. Jerry, are you crying? No, I, I, I bit my tongue. Get to a better state. State Farm. Credibility. Our specialists are thoroughly trained and licensed to specifically treat and manage lymphedema. It's what we do all day, every day. If you suffer from chronic swelling, call us today. 281-338-2590. The Lymphedema Institute. Everyone's talking about Wendy. She's just wonderful. We, we love, love Wendy. Wendy Williams. You're the best. Thank you. Don't be left out. Weekday mornings at 10 on Fox 26. This new segment brought to you by Ron Carter of Alvin. Over a hundred acres of cars to choose from. Um, the guarantee in life is that it's always going to change and it's not always going to be pretty. That's the guarantee. What happens is how do you deal with that and how do you keep moving forward? And that's what we want to show people is that no matter, you can keep moving forward. Becky Pope is the one who has a personal reason to raise awareness about ovarian cancer. She was first diagnosed back in 2009, then survived a recurrence 18 months later. Now she just had to break the news to her climbing comrades as she's going to have to jump over the hurdle of yet another recurrence. Well, I'm five months out of chemo. Becky says she probably has self-proclaimed chemo brain because she knows climbing a mountain while weakened by illness may not sound like the brightest idea, but Mount Kilimanjaro is a symbol for her and she wants it to be for others as well. It's a symbol of the mountains in our lives. It's a symbol of difficulties. It's a symbol of things that sometimes feel like they're overshadowing us that are bigger than we are. There you go. And that's what that's about. And that's why it's so important to climb and to say, I'm not giving in. I'm not going to defeat it. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to climb it and conquer it. Come on, sister. Finding out Becky's ovarian cancer has spread again is a tough diagnosis for everyone on her climbing team. But that is all the more reason for us to continue on this trek. She's still going with us. She is still going to climb. Um, it's not going to stop her. And again, it's just a great metaphor for life. You have to keep climbing. You have to keep moving forward, no matter what comes up. For me, it's about uh, keeping myself healthy and uh, hopefully being an inspiration to other people who are uh, fighting different kinds of battles of cancer. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. And it's uh, about not letting the disease take over my life and to uh, keep quality into my life for as long as I can. So we understand that the only words we need to know in Swahili is pole pole. <laughs> so apparently that's what the porters are going to keep telling us over and over and it means slow, slow, slow. Getting to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro is just the beginning for Becky. She has even bigger plans when she gets back to Houston. For me, it's uh, surgery, another round of chemo, and then hopefully training for uh, Machu Picchu. That's why everyone's so inspired by Becky. She's ready to train for even higher peaks in Peru. Becky joins me now along with Dr. Terry Postilnik, Becky's gynecological oncologist and surgeon, who, by the way, will be joining Becky on that climb. Thank you for being here. Sure. I think it's so incredible, and you must feel so comforted that you are going to have your doctor with you for this. Yes, I do. How did that come about, and how did you agree to this and get involved with everything? That's a big deal. That's probably your story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, Becky had initially come and said, I really want to do something out of the ordinary. I'm planning on hiking Kilimanjaro. Do you think I'm healthy enough to do that? And she's probably one of the strongest, most physically fit patients I've ever had because that's been always an important part of her life. And I said, Becky, there isn't anybody who's probably more capable of doing that than you. Of course you can. 
Um, and it wasn't until I think another visit or two later she said, you know, oh, and by the way, it'd be really great if, if my doctor came. And I said, yeah, that, that, yeah, sure, I'll do that, not really knowing what I was getting into. <laughs> um, but it, it really uh, kind of speaks to what I think um, we as, as a patient, doctor, and, and friends, too, mm -hmm. to, to some degree, about um, how we are there to help support people and also how much of a witness we are to the strength and the courage that our patients are able to exhibit both when they're going through treatment and afterwards and this really is just an extension of all that Becky is she's an amazing person Becky the timing probably couldn't have been harder for you it, it would always be difficult but you had this big plan you've got your doctor involved and then you find out that it has come back how are you dealing with that and and did it did you ever think for even a second I'm not going to be able to do this after all I'm not going to be able to climb or you never let that slip into your mind I never let it really slip into my mind um, as I said before, I'm just not going to let this cancer take over my life or define me or uh, defeat me in any way. And so uh, it was a shocking initially. I wasn't prepared that it had come back uh, so soon. But, uh, you know, once I got over that shock and cried a little bit and got a little angry and had my little fit, then I was ready to go again. Does this present any more challenges for her than she normally would have climbing this mountain? Well, not exactly right now because she's really not having any symptoms mm -hmm. and it's quite small and um, we have to do some preparing anyway. So a few weeks before we actually get started, um, this I don't see that this is going to have any impact whatsoever. In fact, she'll probably be healthier for mm -hmm. the surgery because of all the training that she's been doing. Becky, we see you out there in those extreme temperatures working out so hard and giving this your all. Where do you find your your strength not only physically but emotionally as well you've been going through a lot and you just don't let it get you down well I have a, a deep sense of faith uh, I'm a Christian I believe in Jesus Christ and um, it just gives me an inner uh, inner strength and an inner spirit uh, that just keeps me going mm -hmm. you are certainly busy with all of your own patients where do you find time to to work out and to get ready for this big climb to be there with your patient yeah, that took quite a lot of planning and organizing, uh, but fortunately I have some really great partners and um, a physician assistant who's able to really help out while I'm gone. Um, and I think really this is part of uh, the one step at a time um, concept that we talk about, that really one day is every pre is precious, but also the, the mountain climbing. It's not, you don't do it all in one day, you really take one step at a time, and that's how I try to talk to people about approaching the diagnosis and going through the therapy, is that you can't possibly think about everything. You really just have to wake up today and get through today and then you'll see you're going to be better and each day it, it does and eventually it's over and, and you're able to get through it just like Becky's has always done and one other thing that I'd have to add that, that makes her even more special is that um, not only has she had the strength and the courage to go through all this but she comes to our office once a week and and talks to the other patients and brings little gifts and and it is the encourager really of our office and it's really incredible how she's able to give back in spite of all the things that she's going through herself. Dr. Pistolnik, thank you so much for showing us this great relationship that, that a doctor and a patient can have. Good luck to you on that big climb and Becky, we're so glad that you found your faith and your strength to get through this and we'll be checking in with you later in the morning. Now I'll also introduce you to the rest of these amazing women throughout the hour including one woman who was on top of the world until she got the diagnosis, she's HIV positive. Her story is next. These are the most awesome ladies. They're awesome. They're uh, funny. They're supportive. They're honest. They're real. It's just amazing. It's, you know, I, I call myself the chiropractor for all walks of life, and I'm telling you, Kilimanjaro is going to experience all walks of life. We're just a great bunch of women, and from all kinds of backgrounds. This new segment brought to you by Reliant Energy. Stop. Don't do anything until we talk. Spokespersons for Jim Adler. Stingy insurance companies will use every word against you to cheat you out of your lost wages and your medical bills. Be careful. Don't get cheated. My client Pierre got hit by a drunk driver. He needed neck surgery. I got him $90,000 in his pocket. Put the power of the hammer on your side. Call me right now. 713-777-4000. 713 777 -4000. When running a family, it's great to have help now and then. And this is my favorite helper when it comes to getting extra cash. It's fast and easy. 
Just pick up the phone so your cash can be waiting at the cash store. Just call. There's no hassle, no credit checks, and they're so friendly. When you call this number, the cash store will make it easy for you to get the cash you need. Call to find the nearest cash store, where your cash will be waiting in just a few minutes. I'm glad I have this number. Call the cash store now and save up to 50% if you call today. You know AAA for great roadside service, but there's another side of AAA that could save you hundreds on auto insurance every year. In times like these, it's great to save money, and AAA has saved me hundreds. I was completely stunned when I found out how much money I could save at AAA. With low rates on auto insurance through AAA Texas, switch and you could save up to $400 a year. Compare that to what companies like Allstate or State Farm could charge. You could save with great discounts, too, like combining auto and home, even a longevity discount. And with AAA Your Auto, you could get extra coverage, like accident forgiveness, pet coverage, and more. It's a great value that's hard to beat. And for homeowners insurance that protects your peace of mind, switch to guaranteed rebuilding cost coverage. After my fire, I expected a nightmare, but AAA made it so easy, it was unbelievable. If you don't have AAA insurance, cancel what you have and get it. By the side of the road, or just by your side, count on AAA because we're always with you, all of us. AAA Texas, so easy, so smart, so switch. Call 888-235-9632. It's Empire's Double Deal Days. Your chance to get a free upgrade plus free installation on quality name brand carpet. Call now and you can upgrade to an even better carpet for free. Plus, get next day installation free. And now, no interest for 18 months. Call Empire and save two ways with a free upgrade and free installation. But hurry, it won't last long. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. This new segment brought to you by Ron Carter of Alvin. Over a hundred acres of cars to choose from. I can't even say how proud I am. I, I am so inspired and so at awe with the women of this group. And we've come together as a team. And when one of us is down, the other one's helping to pick the other up. And um, it's just, uh, it, it's inspirational. Vanita Ray is one of the other inspirational climbers. Vanita was diagnosed with HIV eight years ago. The first four years, she lived in a deep, dark depression, quit her rising career, and came close to giving up on life. The past four years, she has been putting the pieces of her life back together and is now ready to take on that mountain. Vanita Ray was at the top of her career working as a lawyer alongside the Attorney General in our nation's capital. Then she got the devastating news from her doctor, HIV positive. I was diagnosed April 2nd, 2003. It's a date you never forget. Um, and I contracted it through heterosexual unprotected sex. Vanita had a rough childhood, but thought she had overcome it after putting herself through law school in her 30s. Being diagnosed with HIV was a major setback that almost sent her over the edge. She moved to Houston to be near supportive family and friends. She's been working hard to overcome her grief and feels like she's finally there. I believe I'm climbing for other HIV positive people. I'm climbing for black folks. I'm climbing for my grandmother who may, never thought about climbing a mountain because we all deal with little mini mountains in our life every day that we're trying to overcome. Now Vanita says Kilimanjaro is just another big mountain in life she will overcome. I get up every morning and look at a picture of the mountain, visualize myself on top with the rest of the ladies. We met up with Vanita at the Lazarus House in Houston. It's a wellness program that provides exercise to people with health issues. They're all proud of Vanita for educating others about HIV, which just isn't talked about as much as it used to be. It takes a lot of strength to be able to step out and identify yourself as being positive because then you give a face and people can recognize HIV as uh, a family member or a friend and then it, it adds some humanity to it. That's great form. As the executive director of Lazarus House, Danielle is impressed with the entire group that Vanita will be climbing with. They inspire me. It, it's beyond me. They inspire me. They make me want to do better. Yeah, I've climbed a big mountain to get to this point. The Kilimanjaro is just a physical idea of the struggle that I've went through to get here, me and my family, so um, it's a big deal to me. 
Vanita joins me now along with her doctor, Joseph Gath, an infectious disease specialist. Welcome to you. Thank you for being here. And you were so brave to share your story. I know that this has been a tough time for you, and we are so proud of you. It has been mm -hmm. such an honor to meet you and see your strength. Where are you finding all of your strength in this to finally, you know, we've, we've talked about the four years were very difficult. The four years have been your comeback. Where did, where did you find it to do it? Wow. Partly my family, my mm -hmm. daughter and sister, who really watched me in that dark time. And, and um, somewhere inside of me, I didn't want to give up on them. And then there's something inside of me that knew that I wanted to transmit something to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And you're helping people now. Aren't you so glad that you were able to turn this around and to raise awareness and perhaps save somebody else from going through the heartbreak that you have been through? And you are so brave to do that. There's something really to be said for that. You know, I never thought that the, the devastating news, that April 2nd, 2003, will be something to give somebody hope, you know, that... Um, they didn't have to die over this and I'm not talking physical death I'm talking a mental and spiritual and emotional death I you know it does my heart good to think that something positive may come from that that because I have this and it wasn't clearly something I wanted to volunteer for that maybe my daughter my sister my nieces somebody won't have to because I will have touched them Dr. Dr. Gath, she is, as, as I said, so brave to talk about this, and I know that you see a lot of this in your patients where they don't want to, so, so we're, we're thankful she's able to do that, but I don't think that HIV is talked about as much. I don't report on it as much as we used to. It's still a very big problem right here in our community, isn't it? It's a very big problem, and it's unfortunately gone below the radar screen for a variety of reasons, and I think one is a sense of complacency. We don't see the deaths that we saw back in the 80s, and so it's really not in the forefront of the news. But unfortunately, the epidemic continues uh, to move forward uh, in, a, in a situation where education will prevent it. And having Vanita coming here and telling your story, I think, will hopefully help the education message of prevention and testing. I just read an interesting study that was talking about it's a very big problem in our elderly community. You, you would never even think that that would be a problem, but education is a problem there because it's something that they didn't have to deal with when they were younger. That's correct. The educational opportunities, unfortunately, from the teenagers through the elderly are just not there. I see probably four to five new HIV patients over the age of 60, and my oldest patient is 99 years old. And the message of prevention is just unfortunately not there. And it's, it's, it behooves us as a community to get the educational opportunities out there, whether it's the church, uh, the schools, uh, the physicians' offices, to get the information out there for prevention. We're almost out of time, but quickly, can you just tell people and just remind people how to prevent this? This particular disease is completely preventable by protected sex and not sharing blood. So without, do not share needles, do not share cocaine sticks, and protected sex in a monogamous, monogamous relationship is the most important way for prevention. Dr. Gath, thanks for bringing this back to light, for reminding people how serious it can be. And for Vanita, we can't wait to see you at the top. I want a picture of you when you've reached that summit because you've already reached such, such heights. No excuses. No excuses. One day this won't take courage to come out being HIV positive. I don't, it should, it's not a moral issue. Mm -hmm. Well, you go, girl. That's all I had to tell you, right? We're Thank proud you. of her. Yes, we are. Now, another doctor is joining the climbers, but not just in her official capacity. Dr. Jackie Duvall has had a lifelong battle with obesity. We'll share her story next. When I was asked to join the group and I was told who I was hiking with and what all our issues were as women, you know, we're dealing with jobs, family, illnesses. I mean, just things that everybody deals with. It's like when we're all hiking together, it's like we're all hiking together. We're just at that moment in time, it's we're hiking. And then when we get to sit down and look back after the day's over and you go, wow, you know, my, my stuff sometimes pales in comparison to others. And, and I'm just honored to be with them. Local coverage of the Houston auditions is brought to you by Jack's Carpet. Type 2 diabetes is devastating the Hispanic community, but simple changes in lifestyle can help you prevent it. Know your risk. 
Get tested today. Okay, you're the good cop. I'm the bad cop. Look, it's still a great time to refinance. Listen up, Buster. We're not going to pay any closing fees. I do what she says, friend. I can't control her. Well, it's the no closing fee refinance, so we pick up the closing fees. Oh, you're going to pick up the closing fees? Yes. On average, that's $3,300 at closing. $3,300? That's a lot of donuts. Visit Capital One Bank today to refinance your mortgage, and we'll pick up on average $3,300 at closing. What's in your wallet? I'm good. Looks like our competitors for the Raid Decathlon are raring to go. First, a spray of Black Flag for one team, and Fast Killing Raid for the other. And they're off. Well, half of them are. Those black flag bugs still showing some spunk, doing the cabinet climb, the sink swim, even the wall crawl, while the raid team is looking kind of dead. Uh-oh, this competition's over. Fast killing raid. Kills bugs. Dead. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I've been working as a massage therapist for a couple of years now. There's so many great things about a career in massage therapy. It's relaxing, you get paid well, and you're always helping people feel better, healing them. You could even be self-employed and set your own hours. I love my job, and so can you. Call the Academy of Healthcare Professions today to begin your career as a massage therapist. For a brochure, call 800-880-2799. That's 800-880-2799. Call now. If your car looks like this, use this. This is what your car could look like after your accident. Pick up the phone and call Brian Longcar. He'll fight hard for what's right and fair. If your car looks like this, use this. Your car could look like this after your accident. Hurt in a car wreck? Just pick up the phone and call me. And maybe you'll be the next client to say... You need to pick up the phone and call Brian Longcar. He'll fight for you. Hurt in a car wreck and need help? Call attorney Brian Longcar. Type 2 diabetes is devastating the Hispanic community. But simple changes in lifestyle can help you prevent it. Know your risk. Get tested today. This new segment brought to you by the Texas Diabetes Council. So we are in the best shape that we can possibly be in. And there really is just no way to, to prepare for the altitude unless maybe you go up in a plane and decompress it and try to breathe. I, but I don't think I'd recommend that. No, I don't think so. Another woman is lacing up her climbing boots for several reasons. She's a chiropractor who plans to help take care of the other climbers, but she also wants to raise awareness about obesity and help get her family on a healthier track. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Annette Duvall. Dr. Jackie Duvall knows all too well about yo-yo dieting. My whole life I've struggled with weight. As a child, I was bullied for being Jackie the ball instead of Jackie Duvall. Jackie is a chiropractor for humans and animals. Being overweight was making her job tough, so she managed to lose weight with healthy eating and lots of exercise. Now she wants to bring awareness and the dangers of obesity to everyone, including her family. My son's growing up. He's 11 years old now. He's having the weight issues that I have, and I don't want that for him. I need to set the example for him. I need to set the example for myself, first of all, and also for my patients. Jackie stopped yo-yo dieting and started maintaining a healthy lifestyle after she faced herself in the mirror and asked herself some tough questions. One of the things that I'm faced with in my family is diabetes, obesity, heart disease, cancer, and so what do I have to do? Well, we know that and understand that fitness helps with all that. And so um, when I was training with Shanna Ross, she came to me and said, you know what, Jackie, you're a chiropractor and you've, also, you've had your Kilimanjaro to, to overcome, which is your diet and your obesity. I want you to help me inspire other people to get real and get up a mountain, their own, conquer their own mountains and get fit. And so I guess I, f I serve the double purpose. I'm their chiropractor for some of the ladies on uh, hiking up the mountain. And also I'm doing this to help other women and show them that, you know, it's usually just one step at a time. And one step at a time, Jackie will continue to inspire as she heads up that steep slope in Africa. 
Joining me now, Dr. Doval, along with fellow climber Pem Hilms, who is battling rheumatoid arthritis. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. My goodness, you are not only a chiropractor for people, but also animals, which yes. I find very interesting. That's a whole other story. But you're going to be adjusting backs and bodies along the way? Yes, ma'am, I will be. Yes. You already know their anatomies pretty well, too, because you've, you've tried to help them out throughout this whole workout process. Is that right? That is correct. We're battling, some of the people are battling plantar fasciitis because we've been walking a lot in mm -hmm. these boots that we're not really used to hiking here in Houston. And also because of some of the other previous ailments that they have, such as herniated disc and other muscle sprains and strains yes how can that help them along the way is that going to make sure that they keep going for the next day because I know that's very important at the end of the day to be feeling good so you're ready to rock and roll I am ready morning. to rock and roll I, I'm always hands-on so it's like I'll, I'll look at them and wa watch them go up that hill because I'll be behind them for sure but I'll be there <laughs> one step at a time and making sure that as I get to the top they're gonna, I'm gonna make sure they get to the top too Pam let's talk about your situation now when we think about arthritis we, we think of it to be debilitating but not for you I mean you are really going to get going but you had a recent diagnosis Diagnosis, and I know that's difficult. How are you working through that? I just uh, try to just stay active, as active as much as possible, even though I kind of work through the pain. Mm -hmm. And I do things to minimize that pain by taking you know, anti-inflammatories and such. And I am on medication for uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and that seems to help. I think that you can help others too by showing them that getting up and moving can really help. You can work through this. You don't have to sit on the couch and, and, and not be able to get out and enjoy life. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. I mean, I, mean, I mean, yeah, if I couldn't get up and, and climb mountains, you know, it just, it just uh, yeah, it'd be very sad. <laughs> what do you think you're, do you think you'll suffer any challenges because of that when you get up there on that mountain? Probably so, probably so. Uh, I, I plan to have injections in my knees before I go, mm -hmm. have, uh, cortisone injections, so I'm not hoping to alleviate some of the pain. And then you'll have Jackie here along the way to help yeah. you out hopefully, right? Now Jackie, who's going to help you if you're helping well, everybody else? Thankfully there's another chiropractor going on the route, so I'm happy. <laughs> she's, she's a wonderful chiropractor, so. And you guys have all of these doctors going with you. It has to make you feel good to have medical personnel right there to help if in case anybody has any problems absolutely yeah absolutely it's 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 comforting it's um, it makes it just feel safe it's we're all going up there together and just to have a good support team is a wonderful thing well, we're we very are, lucky very we blessed. Are so excited for you and we cannot wait to find out how it goes for each and every one of you so far I've introduced you to four of the core group of climbers. I'll introduce you to the other three next. And we'll talk with the man who will be leading the expedition. He has a very special bond with these women. We'll explain as a special edition of Fox 26 Morning News Extra continues. Well, it's about the team and it's about following that person in front of you or standing beside that person. Put your arm around them or to get behind them and to push them up or encourage them up the hill. And so it is about all of us going together and doing it together as a team. Expanding to five nights a week, The Big Bang Theory, this fall. I know how hard it is to make it from one payday to the next. Well, honey, Popeyes is going to help. Mark your calendar for this Thursday. That's the return of Popeyes Payday, the day we offer up something that might just give you a little boost. On this Thursday, you get eight pieces of my world-famous Popeyes Bonafide Chicken for just $4.99. Eight pieces of my slow-marinated, hand-battered, love-your-tummy chicken for $4.99. Popeyes Payday. Why? Because you've earned it, honey. Love that chicken from Popeyes. We lock our doors and stay watchful of our surroundings, but sometimes that's not enough. That's why we depend on criminal justice professionals to keep us safe. Join American Intercontinental University's criminal justice program and study investigation techniques, constitutional issues and criminal procedures, and crime victim studies. AIU is designed for today's students with flexible options to study on campus or online, anywhere, anytime. Start learning criminal justice today. Call now for this brochure. Call 888-573-7888. Call now. Okay, kids, our cable will let us record one more show. Who should get it? I really love Jennifer. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle's got that thick head of hair. And that should be rewarded. Okay, moment of truth. On three, say which kid you love the most. Ooh, fun, yeah. One, two, three, Jennifer. Jennifer. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. She's so pretty. Yeah. Or we give it to Kyle. It's really all he's got. Switch to AT&T U-verse and record four shows all at the same time. Just $29 a month for six months. AT&T. The sights of summer. Don't blink. They go fast. Summer's best event from Cadillac. 
This summer, you do have a choice, and the time is now. Visit your Houston area Cadillac dealer or log on to HoustonAreaCadillac.com for this attractive offer. Hey guys, what's up? It's time for another HEB back to school report. Today's topic, backpack technique. The nature hiker. The socialite. <laughs> the skydiver. No. However you rock it, you can get the backpack and all the stuff that goes in it at HEB. Plus, the low prices mean more stuff. This week, choose backpacks or lunch kits for just $10. Plus, Kellogg's Eggo or H-E-B waffles are 5 for $5. Also, stock up on snacks. Pepperidge Farm Goldfish are 5 for $5. Get ready for back to school at H-E-B and gear up for less. Fox Red Storm Seeker 3D, only on Fox 26 News. I go walking after midnight out on the moonlight just hoping you were here. <laughs> la, 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 la. Don't know it. <laughs> the Zippers has to do. No Raymond. <laughs> I'm the camera. Oh, you have to love the sense of humor. It's my pleasure to introduce the final three of the seven core group of women we're talking right here. That's Pat Wente right here, who is a, a cancer survivor and is now dealing with brain damage as a result of chemotherapy. We have Sherry Dawson, who has had to make some pretty big life changes to focus more on life in general. And then right here, we have Deb Sanders dealing with mandatory retirement. That's a tough one for a lot of people. And then standing next to me, we have Beth Sanders Moore, the founder of Cancer Forward, who helped people like Pat. Thank each and every one of you for being here. So let's, we're going to start with you, Pat, and just talk a little bit about once you go through cancer, a lot of people just expect it to be something you've worked through and it's over, but that's just not always the case, is it? No, it's not. Uh, your life changes dramatically as though you've been in a giant car accident. I mean, lots of things change. What changed for me uh, 18 months after uh, I finished chemotherapy was uh, I uh, developed some cognitive damage and um, changed my life pretty dramatically. I wasn't, was not able to work anymore in the kind of high pressure environment that I'd been in. So yeah, it was a big shift. And Beth, you realize that, and so you are trying to help people. Tell me a little bit about what you do and, and then how you can help people who have, who have suffered problems like this. Cancer Forward is a networking and educational resource for cancer survivors to issue, uh, to deal with the issues like physical, practical, and emotional um, problems that people um, come up against because of their cancer diagnosis. Our website is a place where cancer survivors as well as health and wellness experts can connect with one mm -hmm. another to um, find information that is uh, specific to the issue that they have encountered because of their cancer diagnosis. And most importantly, to have the opportunity to visit with other cancer survivors mm -hmm. to share experiences because I know there's probably more than one person out there that has oh, been yes. through many things that you've been through. Which is one of the reasons you're climbing, to help raise awareness about that. That's right. mm -hmm. Sherry, let's talk about what you've been going through in life that made you want to climb this mountain and say, I'm taking charge of my life today. Well, a couple of years ago, I, I realized that I was living such a negative life. And um, I was caught in a rut, just um, living with fear and disappointment from missed opportunities and decided just to change my life and make positive choices. And uh, when I was asked to climb this mountain, I thought, there's the next challenge, and it's such a positive step in the right direction. Were you working out with Shanna at the time, and I she's was. the one who came to you and said, we're going to do this, and you're going to join us. Exactly. I showed up at her um, gym one day to show her my marathon medal, mm -hmm. and she said, I've got your next challenge <laughs> waiting for you. <laughs> and I was like, yes, let's go. Oh, Deb, you're taking the challenge. And in a situation like this, we're going to have you use your mic. Um, you are being forced out of your job, basically, which a whole lot of us go through. Tell us what happened and, and why that is. Um, the FBI has mandatory retirement at the age of 57. And I will be 57 on January 3rd, and uh, I'll, I'll be retiring at the end of December. And so in order to do this climb, does it help you work through the emotions that you have? Because it's so hard to leave a career, and I'm sure people who feel like your family that you've worked with for all of these years, almost three decades. Yes. it's um, When I thought about it the other day, so far, I don't want to say it's half my life because I mm -hmm. plan to keep on living, but I've been an FBI agent for 28 years. I've met some absolutely fabulous people. I have a, an amazing group of guys that I work with, and I'm going to miss it. It's going to be bittersweet, mm -hmm. but... 
doing something like Kilimanjaro, setting goals for myself, uh, will will help keep me going. And I, I think setting goals is, is important. Well, you had such an exciting job, so it's nice that you have a good, challenging, exciting deal like this that you're going to try to climb. Now, last week I spoke with the person who's going to be taking you ladies up, and I think the neat thing that why he's doing this is he wants to raise awareness for not only all of your causes, but ovarian cancer. He has a very personal connection to this. Let's listen in. I lost my, my late wife, Michelle, to ovarian cancer uh, four years ago. Um, she battled it for two years, and uh, we dealt with the um, having, having her NED, no evidence of disease, for seven entire weeks before she was re-diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And I do a September ovarian cancer climb um, every, every year because September, of course, is Ovarian Ca Cancer National Alliance Month. Does that make you feel good that he has such a connection to, to the reason that you all have decided to oh, climb? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what do you guys think about having somebody who has been on this climb over and over and over? When he gets to you ladies, it will be his 19th climb in Mount Kilimanjaro. Mm -hmm. Does that help you feel safer up there? It sure does. Yes. yes. All right. We can't wait. We're so excited for each and every one of you. And we're going to be checking in with you at the very end. So stick around for that. It's one thing to make the decision to climb the mountain, but yeah also have to be prepared. Some local entrepreneurs got on board with this climb and developed some products that should help. We'll introduce them next. Kilimanjaro was not on my bucket list when uh, Shanna Ross told me we're going to hike up Kilimanjaro. Me being Puerto Rican, I go, Kilimanjaro? Quien? And so, you know, I said, Kilimanjaro, you said you're asking a Puerto Rican where there's no snow to go up a mountain. And I'm like, you know, what am I going to say when I get up there? Ay, hace frío. <laughs> so, yeah. So what is it? It's a challenge. It's something totally different, out of my comfort zone. It's out of the box. I'm ready to take it on. And who better than with this group of women that are just so inspiring. This news segment is brought to you by South Texas Dental. She reminds you of your best friend. Houston loves Wendy. She helps families now. I love her hair, her style. She is a one of a kind. She has that ability to connect. You can relate to her every single day. You can't get enough of Wendy. How you doing? Wendy's awesome. Weekday mornings at 10 on Fox 26. We're KFC with a seven-piece double-mashed value meal, now just $9.99. Seven freshly made drumsticks and thighs, two large mashed potatoes, and three biscuits. KFC's seven-piece value meal, just $9.99 for a limited time. We're KFC, and today tastes so good. No moment is harder to wait for or more important, and no pregnancy test is more accurate than EPT. So accurate, we call it the error-proof test. So get the accuracy you want when you need it most with EPT. We got a call today about that slow U-verse 3 meg plan. You know, for the discerning connoisseur of DSL, that U-verse plan is... Slow. <gasps> oh, my goodness, Bill. His first word. Do it again. Oh, okay. That U-verse plan is... Slow. Our boy's a genius. That's my son! Go faster than U-verse with Xfinity Internet. Only from Comcast. Sign up for this great offer today. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. You're sure? Yup. You're approved. For real? So many chefs, there's only one way to finish dinner. I'll cook it myself, stand by. Are you serious? Hell's Kitchen tonight at 7 on Fox 26. This new segment brought to you by Mattress Firm. Save money, sleep happy. Mattress Firm. We haven't replaced this old mattress in years. After eight years, your mattress practically doubles in weight from dead skin, sweat, dust mites. Dust mites? Millions of them. Millions? Maybe more. According to your tag, this mattress is 16 years old. If it's over eight, it's time to replace during the final days of Mattress Firm's Save the Tax Sale. Save up to $300 plus pay no tax. Simmons Queen sets are just $439 and get 0% financing. Mattress Firm. Save money. Sleep happy.
You have heard the phrase, it takes a village. That certainly is the case where this climb is concerned. A couple of local business owners have stepped in to lend a hand. They are Angie Fagan, the owner of Urban Souls Outpost, as well as Beth Mincher with Gluten Free Houston. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. We're so Good glad morning. to see how you got involved. And I know that, that this group of women was very happy that we, they had some support. Mm -hmm. Let's first of all talk about their climbing. These are the boots that they will be wearing, but this isn't the typical merchandise that you carry, is it? That's correct. Uh, one of the ladies actually came into the store one day looking for this sort of equipment and we didn't carry it mm -hmm. and so I started thinking about it and I got in touch with Shannon and said hey do y'all have boots and she said no and I got in touch with Keen and I said Keen y'all want to help some gals out and I think within 24 hours they said yes My so goodness. we had the boots shipped in for them so they could try them out let's talk about why it's so important for them to have a good fit now if we mm -hmm. typically go climbing let's say my family likes to go to the the Texas Hill Country and climb this is what we usually wear something exactly. like this right. that's just not gonna fly up there on that mountain is it right this is a this boot here and here is in a category called core hikers mm -hmm. and so they're a full leather boot that provide all the protection that you need up there they're waterproof they're full leathers they have more stability cushioning there's dual density layers that sort of thing mm -hmm. so they're also a little bit heavier <laughs> so that helps a whole uh, lot in that situation right so then what we do primarily is more in a light hiking category mm -hmm. well let's also talk about eating because Beth they mm -hmm. are going to really need to be able to sustain themselves for a long period of time how did yes. gluten-free Houston get involved we have the pleasure of being involved because uh, one of our star bakers at gluten-free Houston Rebecca Kipp is the niece of one of the climbers uh -huh. so we uh, got word that they were embarking on this journey and uh, we thought that yes we can provide some uh, high energy high nutrient uh, protein bars for them I love the names that you came up with mm -hmm. what are they well the ladies actually came up with the names themselves um, we have three flavors of bars that we're making uh, we have the summit joy which is a coconut and chocolate based bar we have the base camp boost which is full of nuts and berries mm -hmm. and uh, our other base protein ingredients and then we have the Kilimanjaro crunch which is the <laughs> peanut butter flavored bar and you just came up with these ingredients that you're just going to throw together and make this for them basically yeah we chose a lot of unique ingredients of course since we are the um, commercial gluten-free bakery of Houston we um, naturally have a gluten-free dairy-free soy-free product mm -hmm. um, but we also have used a variety of nuts and berries um, that we'll just kind of combine here and show what we were doing uh, for the creation of the bar but stuff that is high in protein yeah. high in fiber um, almond milk is great because it does um, give you a lot of vitamin D mm -hmm. vitamin E which is a great antioxidant and we know these ladies are gonna have a lot to sustain themselves on their climb yeah they're going to need so much well we're out of time but we're gonna let you keep on making that and we're gonna have the ladies taste it and see if they're ready for this sure. um, two weeks out we'll bring all the ladies together along with their support system for some final thoughts next. I would love for Houston to really get behind our project so that not only not only baby boomers can understand how important it is to get your health back if you've lost it and to maintain it if you haven't. Um, our nation's in, in, in a lot of trouble as far as the obesity rates go. And it is really up to each of us as individuals to take that control back and get the right information and make sure that we stay healthier so that we can be much more productive, older um, people because we have a lot to give back. Get a quote online in just 15 minutes at johnnygohonda.com. Type 2 diabetes is devastating the Hispanic community, but simple changes in lifestyle can help you prevent it. Know your risk. Get tested today. At Louisiana, we specially blend our tea for iced tea so that you get glass after refreshing glass of porch swings and cool breezes all day long. So brew yourself a pitcher, pour a glass, and find your front porch. Louisiana Authentic Southern Iced Tea. Now your favorite varieties have a brand new look. 
Wouldn't it be nice to have help when you unexpectedly need cash? Well, I've got the perfect helper for just those times. It's fast and easy. Just pick up the phone so your cash can be waiting at the cash store. Just call. There's no hassle or credit check, and they're so friendly. When you call this number, the cash store will make it easy for you to get the cash you need. Call to find the nearest cash store, where your cash will be waiting in just a few minutes. I'm glad I have this number. Call the cash store now and save up to 50% if you call today. So your policy looks good. Is there anything else? Why'd you buy my husband a Falcon? Thanks for the Falcon. I didn't buy anyone a Falcon. Sure you did. You saved us a lot of money on auto insurance. I used that money to buy a Falcon. Ergo, you bought me a Falcon. You should get a Falcon. Most people who switch to State Farm save on average about $480. What they do with it, well, that's their business. Oh, that explains a lot, actually. <laughs> Another reason people switch to State Farm. Oh, I could have got a Falcon. Get to a better state. There are some things grown-ups never outgrow. Like vaccines. They help keep us healthy, and that's really important because every year, people die from diseases like the flu, meningitis, and pertussis, to name a few. Talk to your doctor and download your immunization schedule at vaccinesforeveryone.com. So get vaccinated, whether you're a kid or just act like one. Vaccines aren't just for kids. Warning, warning from attorney Steve Lee. Be careful. Have you been in an accident and been contacted by a medical clinic, lawyer's office, record driver, or someone posing as a representative from an insurance company? Have they forced you into choosing a lawyer or medical clinic? These actions may be illegal. If you've been a victim, call attorney Steve Lee now. You have the right to choose your own lawyer. Steve Lee has served our community for more than 38 years. I'm Steve Lee. Call me. We can help you. It offers active fuel management and a variable valve timing system that can take a 315 horsepower V8 and give it an EPA estimated 22 highway miles per gallon. The 2011 GMC Sierra. It's not just our best Sierra ever, it's our most efficient Sierra ever. Now during the GMC summer event, get 0% financing for 60 months when you purchase any 2011 Sierra. Plus, make no payments for 90 days. Type 2 diabetes is devastating the Hispanic community, but simple changes in lifestyle can help you prevent it. Know your risk. Get tested today. A dirty secret was exposed. I found out that he was cheating on me. He locked him out of the house. That night I did, yeah. Judge Judy, today at 4 on Fox 26. But we've done our work, and we're ready, and we realize that it's going to be very different. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's a part of why we're doing this. Life is different. It changes every day. And you can't really prepare because you don't really know what's around the corner. You don't know what's going to come at you, and this is a great metaphor. We're doing the best we can. We don't really know what's ahead of us, but we're prepared, and we'll take it one step at a time. And now all of the ladies who will be climbing Mount Kilimanjaro as well as some of their support teams. I told you we'd, we'd taste some of that gluten-free Houston. So let's taste our Kilimanjaro crunch, ladies, yeah. and tell us. <laughs> is this going to sustain you on the mountain? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. This is very good. They're this nodding and they think it's going to help. Right. It's so important for them to have the right nutrition. This won't be obviously the only thing they'll be eating. No, it won't be. But this is what's going to really help us when we have those low moments. Mm -hmm. It has really great protein and it's going to get us through. Your take-home message. None of these ladies were just complete athletes. They weren't necessarily ready for this. But no matter where you are, no matter what stage in life, no matter what you're going through, you can make things better and you can prepare for this. That's exactly right. It doesn't matter what age. It doesn't matter what condition you're in. It starts with making the decision. That's it. Thank you so much for joining us for Fox 26 Morning News Extra in this special edition. Right now, ladies, I have a very special treat for you. We have got a pep talk from Macon Dunnigan. He is going to be leading you on the way. It's very important for you to listen to what he has to say. You all have done, done it all. You're in shape. You're ready to go. Uh, all you have to do now is get to Kilimanjaro Airport, and we'll take it from there. Um, you've you've uh, worked out. You've worked out very hard. and very proud of all of you for what you've done. Uh, you've really dedicated uh, a solid six months of your life to climbing Kili, and I'll be there. And fortunately, when you see me in Mount Kilimanjaro, I've already climbed it once. 
and so I'll be able to tell you exactly how uh, what I experienced in the climb a week beforehand and so you'll have a little bit better knowledge but uh, I really feel that uh, you're all going to have a really great time and again it's uh, you're in shape you're ready to go and let's go and enjoy it and uh, again what they have to realize that even their first night on Mount Kilimanjaro they're sleeping at 8,600 feet which not many people in the if you've ever wanted to get into the healthcare field, 